Is this Portuguese? No. <laughs> what? 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 Hey guys, welcome to another classical challenge. My name is Jonah. I'm Canadian, and I'm living in Taiwan, studying Chinese. Today, I'm here with a number of my foreign friends, and we're going to see if they know what different languages sound like. Now, I have a bunch of audio clips of different languages, and we're going to see if they can guess which language is which. You guys ready to start? Yeah. All right. Let's see how it goes. First one. Mein Bruder hat alle meine Cupcakes gestohlen und gegessen. All right, any guesses? That kind of sounds like German. Okay. I don't have no idea, but it sounds like like somewhere around Europe. Mm -hmm. It's definitely German. I just heard cupcakes. Like that's the only <laughs> thing I heard. Oh, so it's English then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, let's play it one more time. Mein Bruder hat alle meine Cupcakes gestohlen und gegessen. I'm still sure because I heard mine. Oh, ah, okay. I know okay. It's German. Well, mine is also an English word. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it means I like cupcakes. Mm. Well, you guys were right. It is German, not English, <laughs> and it means my brother stole and ate all of my cupcakes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Un pájaro que te hace caca significa buena suerte. Whew, okay, a lot faster. I heard the word buena. I would say Spanish. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's Spanish. I would say Spanish too because it's quite similar to Italian. Spanish. I think this one is quite obvious. Well, congratulations. Yay. You are all correct. It is. It is indeed Spanish. And the meaning of this sentence is, "Wow, a bird pooping on you means good luck." Glistrisa ke pesa brostas ti sidrivi mu. Okay, this is hard. Um, I think it's like um, Balkan language, but I know which one, mm. like Serbian or something like this. I think it's a Slavic language, but until the point where it got to the end, and I'm like, mm, is this still a Slavic language? Okay. I don't know. Is it Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> Everything sounds <laughs> Portuguese or Spanish for me. Okay. Uh, honestly speaking, I have no idea. Mm. Well, um, why do you guys think it's uh, Balkan or um, uh, you know an Eastern European language? Because for me, it's quite similar to Russian, and oh, okay. so I have some vibes of uh, Slavic. Hmm. Because I speak Polish, so oh. it's like oh, really? kind oh, okay. of similar. Right, right. Yeah. Well, let's give it another listen and see what we think. Glistrisa ke pesa brostas ti sidrivi mu. Yeah, the end makes me think of a Slavic language. It's dreamy vu, like something like this. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. I'd like to know what language it <laughs> is. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I'll tell you. Uh, this is Greek. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I would Just have go never west guessed. a bit. And, yeah. 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 And the meaning of that sentence uh, is, I slipped and fell in front of my crush. You know? oh. It's not exactly Homer, but still a marvelous story, I would say. Yeah. Ik had een rotte cake en kreeg buikpijn. Some Arabic, Arabic language. Okay. I I think it's the Netherlands. Hmm. Mm. I I have no idea. I I might need to listen to it twice. Okay. Well, I'll give it another play. Ik had een rotte cake en kreeg buikpijn. Yeah, it's definitely North European. Mm. I don't know what it is, but. I don't know, for me, it also sounds like German. Okay. <laughs> Same answer as earlier. <laughs> Ar Arabic, yeah. okay. Uh, we got one right answer, it is Dutch. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I ate a rotten cake and got a stomach ache. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It rhymes. It rhymes in English. Mój pies żuł moje ulubione buty. I think that's Russian. Is this Portuguese? No. <laughs> what? Why, 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 why yeah, is it Portuguese? Yeah, right. That's exactly <laughs> Like I heard "muy" at the, okay, know, at the okay. beginning, so like <laughs> it's Portuguese. I was think I need a, another another sure. try. Yeah. I think it's Slavic, but I don't know what language. There's okay. too many Slavic countries. All right, I'll give you guys another listen. Muy pies żu moje ulubione buty. Is it Polish? It is Polish. Wow. Okay. Nice. Perfect guess. Can you play it again and let me guess what oh, it means? Oh, sure, sure. Mój pies żuł moje ulubione buty. I think it means something like my favorite boots. 
that is a pretty good guess. Uh, congratulations, it is Polish. Um, <laughs> and the meaning of this sentence is, my dog chewed my favorite shoes. So favorite you got and boots and shoes, pretty close. Yeah. Wow. Okay, what do we think? Um, I will say Chinese Mandarin. Okay, okay. I would say Chinese Mandarin. Okay. Definitely Mandarin. Um. Oh, I think this is English. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Perfect, okay, okay, okay. This is English. Definitely. <laughs> Well, bad news for June, this is not English, I'm afraid. It's the other language you know well, which is Mandarin Chinese. <laughs> and the meaning is, I moved to Australia uh, to find a koala. Uh, oh, so cute. Mm. Alrighty, let's try another language. Sounds Thai. Sounds Thai or Vietnamese. Yeah, I would say Thai or Vietnamese, but maybe Vietnamese. 60% Vietnamese and 40% Thai. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why don't we have you each choose one of the two? Mm -hmm. Take a stand, all right? Uh, I would say Thai. Vietnamese? I'm sticking to Thai. Thai? Well, it is in fact Thai, so oh. yeah, good job, good job. And the meaning of this sentence is, I take a bath with the monkeys. Oh. <laughs> mm. Another interesting one. Folk säger att IKEA's möbler är billiga, men jag har fortfarande inte råd. I think it's more like a Swedish or something like that. Russian. Yeah, I might have to agree with you, probably like Swedish. Okay, here we have another listen, see what we think. Folk säger att IKEA's möbler är billiga, men jag har fortfarande inte råd. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the key. <laughs> well, that's the word in English too, I suppose. So this is going to be English again. Well, it is not Arabic. It is also not Russian, I'm afraid. And it is, in fact, Swedish. Okay. And you did pick up on IKEA. Uh, <laughs> you know, people say IKEA's furniture is cheap, but I still can't afford it. You know. As language students in another country, I yeah. think we can all connect to that sentence. That, yeah. yeah. How many languages did you guess? Why don't you go and comment below and let, let us see how you did. Alright, thanks everyone. See you next time. See you. Bye! Bye.